Hi everybody, Nick Blazier here uh, with round 18, I think this is, yeah, of the WBIF World Individual Championship. We're looking at the, I don't know how well you can see the screen here, you can kind of see it here, but the um, 14 players remaining, it looks like one of the matches got played already. I'm taking on Peter Wisniewski here, who is communicating his uh, scheduling times in West Coast times, but he has a UK flag. I don't know what that's about. So maybe he's a secret American. Um, we're just visiting. I don't know. Uh, but exciting match, man. What a run it's been. I'm super excited to get playing this. Uh, before I get started, I, as of making this video, I think I'm at like 1250 of my $1,500 goal for going to Cyprus. So it looks like it's going to happen. I'm super excited, super close to that. If you can contribute any little bit to help me get over the finish line on that, I'd really appreciate it. I'm super excited about booking travel for that. Uh, you can go check out my website here, nickblazier.weebly.com, to see information about that, who's donated all that. And my book's available on Amazon. I'm also trying to make, like, in-person trips around to to sell that in person, too. I can sell it for a little bit cheaper directly from me. And I have other people that will have copies for, like, a little bit, somewhere between my price and the online price and things like that, too. I'm learning all kinds of fun logistics with this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully I'll have a bunch of copies in Cyprus when I get there. Um, we'll, you know, presuming I'm getting there. It looks like it. So, yeah, I think that's all I've got. So, without further ado, we'll hop over to the match here. Oh, I missed his challenge. I'm bad at this. Okay. How do I challenge him? I think I can figure this out. I think... Oh, he's not tournament ready. What do I do here? Maybe I can just chat him. What is what is this? 13 live 8. Oh, is this it? I think I've got it. Oh, yeah, it says on here he's American, too. Why does he have a UK flag? I'll have to ask about that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, let's see if this works. All right, here we go. One of us is going to be eliminated with uh, four losses already. I'm asking him about the... <laughs> so what did he roll up? 5-1. Okay, I should play here. I already escaped. I don't really want to... I guess maybe stepping up. I don't really want to leave shots in the outfield with my racing lead and everything like this, so I'm going to make this weird, stiff-looking play. Um, okay, he's British originally. Okay. Okay. I thought I was the last American. This is why this is important. I'll tell him that, too. <laughs> okay, we're ahead eight pips. No cubes in sight. We uh, we don't even really have a racing double yet. He's got an anchor, which is going to give us time or problems coming home. So we got a little work to do here. Still ahead. We're still happy with this game. Um, okay. We're still happy to play a race, though. Just before we were still kind of looking for ways to come home safely without leaving shots. And that will still be the case here with a small racing lead, but uh, still need more work to do to, to make this like decisive and, and something where we're going to send the cube. Um, okay, I am still the last American, he confirms. I got it, that's nice. Now I'm still going to play the, the ace and the three there for distribution here, even though I, I don't get a crossover any closer to bearing off, but it's going to matter. I need fives to play. It's really important to have all these high points filled in and even pretty out. And maybe almost like a wedge going from the six down to the four. Um, I don't usually talk about bear off distribution, but it's so like primary in this position that it's worth mentioning at least. Okay, eight pips is getting in the territory of a racing double. Um, point of last take should be what, like uh, 11, 12, and eight. So four shy plus contact is not going to be enough to send it yet. Um, but I think we're we're getting where we need to think more. Oh, we got another four pips on that, so that's going to be 12 pips in a 10, 11 pips. So pure race, this is a pass now. So if we break contact, um, 
we're going to have decided the game. So I think for the risk of doing that on the next roll, I should just send it here. The contact's a little weak for away, too. I think it's enough for him to still play it out. Um, but, yeah, I think I have a lot of market loss in this position. There's even a chance that with something like a 6-3 at some point, I might need to uh, play... Okay, can I afford to waste in the race like this? I think so. I think I want to just buy time to, to clear that point. Um, so I think this is okay. But yeah, there's a chance I might need to play like a 6-3 or something like that and leave a single shot, and I want to have send the cube by the time that happens to gain on the upside if I have to do that. Um, here, he might have to go as well. My racing distribution looks so nice when I make a play like this. I think I'm going to go for this. And if I have to break on a 6, so be it. I don't think it's worth getting too ugly with the race to uh, save it, though. Okay, here we are. He wins a third of the time. Oh, he did it. Bummer. All right, two points for him to start. He can play on for the gamut if he wants, but uh, not too many of them here. We're going to pass. 13 away, 11 away. All right, what's going on here? He's got an anchor, so I would like an anchor, but even better than that is hitting. I'm taking over the race, so I'll go ahead and do that. And his midpoint strips, so I can come and challenge that if I want to. I think leave a fly shot. I don't see any reason to step into... I, I would like to step up to escape better. I want to safety this blot. I don't think it's worth... I mean, it's he doesn't love hitting from the midpoint to break it anyway, so I can consider things. But simple plays here when my opponent has an anchor and I have the racing lead have the most merit, I think. He makes a board point, okay. Looking for ways to run. This looks like a nice opportunity. Um, the sixes aren't so exciting to hit. I get to cover with it. I don't have better fives. Aces probably play fine, but I mean, when I get away with this, then I'm consolidating to a race. Um, interesting, maybe two downs a little better. I'm not sure why he wants to leave something on the mid there. Um, I don't want to leave the direct shot or play behind with the three, so I, I think, hmm, I'm kind of activating the checker on the four point, the dilly build there, if I enter deep, so maybe I should enter high here, but I just don't like how my three looks when I do that. It also feels like my opponent doesn't want to attack deep as often, but here might be an exception. Hmm. This is tricky. I don't really want to create another 5-stack, too. Maybe I'll try like this. This feels so weird, though. Like, why do I want to enter high and be attacked and also play behind his anchor? All this just to avoid activating this Dilly Builder. Basically. And ugh. Neither of these look good. These are the hardest ones. Okay, I'll just enter high and play behind. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, I'm happy here, I think. It's hard to hit that shot on the midpoint, though. Um, like, my indirect eights aren't doing a whole lot here. Uh, ooh, this seems very nice. This is for sure going to make this, and then for sure cover, I think. And I guess we could just leave the indirect sevens out here and kill the 11. I don't really need that. I don't want to leave a direct on the 10. I don't want to play behind. Sure, sure. Last one was a little tricky. 6-3. So he can play down and hit loose. That seems like his best game plan. Um, he'll be slightly ahead in the race after it. When it works, though, I still have a lot of game. I'm liking my position quite a bit. My hits are pretty devastating, so I almost feel like I should think about a cube, but I don't think I'm winning. Oh, he doesn't even go for the hit. Interesting. Very interesting. Now I feel like I just have full control of this game, which is quite nice. 10 away, 11 away. I just add 5-5 five, five by stepping up. He doesn't have that otherwise. 5-5 five, five is probably a very good number anyway. Um, so sure, let's just get on it. I don't know. I could also play 6-5, to five, but I don't really want to ruin my distribution. Um, against the holding game, he has the third checker back, so if I make enough of a priming structure I can send with this slight racing deficit, um, otherwise, I want to be closer to some sort of cashable position. This seems very nice. Let's restrict his movement. Consolidate all my blots. I could have made the bar as well, but I don't see any reason to leave the fly shots. And this blocks sixes, which is very nice. Okay, his distribution's getting weird, too. Not clear that he'll be able to hop out on this, so... Um, really feels near a cube here. 
I just want a little bit more. I think... Okay, he really doesn't want to hop out to the outfield. That's interesting. I thought maybe he should do that. And then would I have enough threat of hitting? Probably still even there. It wouldn't feel like a cube quite yet. Um, position ugly. I think I still don't really see the market loss. 4-2 is going to play behind with one checker, I think. Okay, not a bad roll for him. I am slightly ahead in the race. He's starting to get into wastage territory. He has three checkers back. This is looking reasonable. What is my my market loss? I don't know. I just regained the race. He should have a take next time so often. I don't know. I'm still having trouble seeing it. Um, I don't think I want to clear the midpoint yet. It's still nice to restrict movement from there. I don't really have to destroy my board, I don't think, if I do something like this. It doesn't look great either, though, to have two blots in our board when he might be running next turn. So what other options do I have? I could play down and leave uh, 5, 4, and 3, 6. Um, I just don't need to do that, though. So let's, yeah, let's just keep all the shots. I mean, with a close race, I think I want to restrict movement. 2-6 is not a good one for him. Okay. Even race, wasting pips, though. Mobility challenges, cracking his board. I feel like it's time. Okay. Simple plays from here. We're going to wait for the contact. Yeah, so like a sequence like this, maybe this was enough to like lose my market. Um, okay, I don't want to leave shots, so I think I just have to clear the 10. I was thinking the midpoint next, but uh, interesting. He still could come out there. But uh, let's see, what do I want to do with this? I think I just make the 9, but I'd like to cover the 3. We'll do it this way. Oh, that made 6-1 good. Five, four. Okay, fives and fours are awkward. Those are the numbers I need to clear this. So I might have to make a really stiff play here. Um, I think I have enough racing lead to support that now. Uh, my play B is to leave a direct four and potentially lose the race. So yeah, let's just do this. Ooh. Okay, I stayed in the way of that. Four, one is gonna clear naturally even though the race is getting closer. 6-1 for us to leave. Um, I think we're going to attack a lot of the time. Uh, we don't get the opportunity, though. That's fine. Twos, okay. We're still attacking a lot of the time when we get the chance. I don't want to give him an even race here. Yeah, so I think this is worth it by quite a bit. Um, when we get away with it, then we just kind of win the game so much that much easier. Um, I think we're going to clean up now. I don't see a reason to leave it. But we've gained so much racing equity just by doing that. It's not, not a lot of gammons available. Even if we're hit, we might be able to do something on the other side of the board. I'm just peeling and letting him go there, too. No need to worry about clearing when he's going to be forced off so often anyway. Get myself a four with that last ace. All right, I think I'm going to even out the match on this one, it looks like. He's still got room to catch up, though. All right, 11 away, 11 away. 3-2. Usually we don't like to leave shots in the outfield after they do this ace split, so not sure about the normal split. I love the split with the 3 because it doesn't see that, so maybe just 2 up could be a play. I can't remember the second roll for sure. Is there duplication? The 3-6 would make a point. The 5-4 when the 6-4 makes the bar point. Yeah, okay. So there's like decent duplication of the numbers that hit. So I'll just play down and split with it. Sometimes we can just figure those out. I usually make fun of the people that just figure that out somehow instead of memorizing it so hard. <laughs> okay, 4-2. Uh, I think I'm just making the board point. Making the 9 feels like a contender. Instead of leaving outfield shots. Okay, I get hit, but he could have been making the 5 point. That was the duplication concept. Down in the race with a better board. I think slotting feels okay here. 
instead of something destructive with the ace. He has a lot to clean up at the moment. Cleans up two of them, makes a super stack, but I have a board advantage, so I still like how this game is playing out for me. And the three can cover for sure. And then I guess, why leave a direct shot without hitting loose when I could? I could just play down, so sure, we'll go for the attack. What happens when this works? When he fans, I'm still way down in the race. But I have the better board. I only have eight in the zone. I have an anchor, so his development's very hard. His entering could be challenging. So I can lose my market if I play one down and cover something like this, and he fans again. Four-point board could be too much. And I'm never really in too bad a shape in this game. So it might be that I that I need to send the cube because I'm not so worried about it coming back. Sixteen pips is a lot to be down, though. Yeah, I'm going to send it. I mean, it's the rack, man. What can I do? This is in pure. If it was on the 22, this would be an easier cube as well. Oh, he's just going to let it go. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm very glad I sent it then. I think that was playable with a 16 pip lead and only eight in the zone. Um, okay, after he makes the two points, I believe I do as well. I definitely don't run down in the race. Don't want to split and provoke contact, so I'm following his lead. 3-2, he's sticking with the down idea. Okay, I'm probably going to follow that unless I get to hit. So I will do that. A big racing lead now. He's going to slot reasonable, I think. 6-2. First real decision. I think I want to clean this up with a 6, almost certainly. Then 2, is there any... Why, why would it help to hit loose? I have one checker back to 3. So I think I just want to find a quiet play. And I can play to the outfield, because the indirects will leave a shot here anyway. 24 to 22 might help me escape, so that feels reasonable as well. Um, hmm. Maybe it challenges this point if he covers with a 4 too. So maybe the step up 2 is a little bit better. Why get another blot involved? I don't know. There must be rolls that I'm sad I do this after. 6-2, uh, probably not one of them. I think I'm okay with that. 5-2 doesn't escape. What does it do? I don't want to be attacked on the 20, so I don't think I want to step up. But my distribution is so much worse. Threes and ones. I feel like I'm going to have to just step up. Maybe the distribution's better from here. I don't know. I'm going to try that up. It's not so bad. Uh, six is going to... Oh, I wouldn't have gotten hit with that the other way. But maybe I'm happy. <laughs> I don't really know. Five, six, okay, this looks like it's just going to run to an even race. Is that the best I can do? Yeah, otherwise, I'm playing to the deuce, and I'm getting attacked anyway. Uh, not a great spot to be in here, though, for me. When an even race, single checker back, outboarded. He's got the anchor. He's kind of got everything. I need to perform on this roll. Ooh, this is wide open. Must have a, lot of, a lot of rolls where I get back into it if he wants to play that down play. Yeah, the six is pretty awkward, though. What is a better six? I don't really know. Doesn't feel any better. Yeah, he could just play past and not hit. I guess that's an idea. But he has a better board, so why not? Even if you have to, like, double slot, can it be that bad? Maybe just 13 to 11, 11 to 5 is okay. Maybe the down play is fine, too. I don't know. I, I don't really like breaking the 8, necessarily. Uh, okay, nice shot for us. We're just going to try to escape. 5-3 misses. Fantastic. I still have work to do to bring this home quietly. And my opponent has a take with this bar point anchor almost forever, unless I start making board points and make something really threatening that way. Um, so I'm not too close to a cube here. Only four pips as well. Ooh, this is... I was thinking about this roll. We have to leave a blot either way. I, th I mean, how do I not make the five point? I really need this eight point to bring it home against the bar point anchor, but when he fans, I think I can claim this game. Fours and aces are perfectly duplicated with hitting numbers from the bar, too. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Four, three. Oh, he links up with that bar point anchor. Now this is actually pretty difficult for me. A little sad about that. It's very hard to bring these four checkers on the midpoint home without outfield presence, without a uh, eight point. So I do not think I have a cube here, even with this 25 pip lead. 
Let me think about that. I could still roll sets and such, but uh, yeah, maybe the sets are still enough threat. I don't know. But I don't have the usual like 5-4 play 2 down kind of thing. It's a lot of pips is the thing, so I'm going to send it. So this is bad not having the 8, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have some forced moves potentially. At least, I mean, the other thing about this too, though, is that his board's pretty impure. So if I do leave the shot, he doesn't always get to win with it. Um, I don't think I want to save a six. If I have to volunteer the double shot, then okay. Oh, we made a pretty good roll to punish it if I do, though. So our board looks real nice now. We still got a, life, a lot of life after death if we do roll the six and get hit, though. So I'm not too worried. I'm hoping he gives up the midpoint first, though. Hasn't done that yet. Stubborn. Okay, we'll save a five. We'll do that that way. Okay. Now at least we're only leaving a single direct. I'm going to save a five one more time. I think we're ahead enough in the race where we can trash our board pretty significantly waiting for this set. All right, moment of truth. Fives is an interesting way to get back in the game. I've wasted some, so this is a little closer than it looks. Yeah, I think he's got to go all the way. Leaving a single checker just seems like a little suicidal in front of this. But I guess he's not going to lose any gammons when he does this. But, I mean, he gives up so much racing equity when I roll a six. All my sixes are going to be fine. Um, everything can hit and clean up. I guess my indirect sixes maybe not so much. So, yeah, I think you take the racing equity here. I like his play. 5-1. I don't see a better ace in the board, so I will just play at 8-7. to seven. My distribution is pretty much what I want out of it. Oh, and he's really closed down the, the racing lead here. I am concerned. Four, three. Taking a checker off. Maintaining our small lead here. Only a one point lead too. I don't think that I'll have to adjust my recube take point too much here. We're still like quite a ways from the end of the game, so not feeling those kinds of match end effects. Another reason why I think I can get the the cube in that I did. I don't think I'm adjusting for the lead at all there. Three two. Ooh, that's a pretty bad miss. I've got one free miss still though. Ooh, fives catches up a lot too. What does that do? Threes catches me up. Oh, okay, huge. He could have just got off naturally. He'll have another chance to roll a set. What is the most, is, is fours are better regardless? So he can play pretty much whatever he wants with this. I don't think there's a possible wrong play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still fours, I'm pretty sure here, so. He'll say, take some time making sure. I do love this about backgammon that we like just consistently spend the most time on like the most irrelevant plays, <laughs> the difference in things. <laughs> I don't know. Feels like you can figure it out and like it's close and we know it and can get to the solution, but then we still can't figure out the ones that are like dramatically different and like really huge equity swings to get incorrect. All right. Threes is likely going to, oh yeah, makes the anchor and the five point. Very nice shot. Um, I get to anchor up, which is nice as well, freezing, freezing this stack on the six very effectively. Um, I'm not going to want to leave my anchor, so I think this is a nice opportunity for him to, yeah, either slot it, make the seven, leave a blot in front. I like this play. Um, down in the race, so maybe I would have taken advantage. I would have tried. I, I have the weaker board, so I'm not really inclined to make the same bold plays that he just made there. Uh, cleans up this time. Sure, maybe there's nothing better at this point. I'm going to have to play two behind here, I think. This is going awkward. I'm close enough in the race that I can just keep just sitting on this and hope that something comes out of it. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of losing all game plans, so I must be behind. Fours. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, he's going to keep the priming in front, even though I'm significantly down in the race, so it's hard to have the timing to do that. Um... Is this an opportunity where I can bait him off? 
three six and three one are going to make pretty strong boards. I might like to make that point later. Threes are okay otherwise. Um, and I think a lot of his threes are going to have. I guess three three can cover two. But what is it? Three five, three four, three two. Then are gonna. Is he really gonna want to even hit on those? And my my play B looks pretty destructive and like I'm not gonna have a board anytime soon. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try that out. Still down 10 in the race too. Now it's gonna be a little more threatening, but I have chances of making the five point or the bar point uh, a little more than I did before. I think switching two to A's for him looks pretty strong here. Easier to cover from the eight point. Okay, so the six down for sure, and then I can't leave a direct with the three, so I guess I'm gonna play behind with that. Was there something better playing behind? I don't think so. I think the blocking point's nice. I open up some indirect 6-3 and 5-4, but I would get a shot on the deuce when he rolls those. 5-3 I think just clears the 8 point safely. Yeah, we're in a nice simple mutual holding game here. Uh, do I want the outfield presence and to keep checkers in front? I think so. I'm ready to pound 6-5, I'll regret it, but 6-1 uh, not so bad. I can attack behind. It's a little scary because he's got the perfect 5 point board. Uh, not so scary when I get to uh, hit and lift, though. 4-3. Bought a little time in the race, but not too much. Still kind of in trouble here. 8's hit in the outfield. 9's. Ooh. Ooh, that's not a good roll. What do I do with this? I could play into the 2 and hit. I could run and leave 5's and 1's and a bunch of outfield shots. At least I have my anchor by hitting board somewhere. Is there, I don't see any safe play. So I think I like that hit for sure. And I could play behind and leave another direct or just, I mean, this seems stronger. This is not good. I guess I have to take if he cues me after this. I think he should cube. I don't want to do that at all. What is it, am I missing a safe play? Uh, leaving and getting closed out and gammon just seems like a disaster. I think this is it. Um, either way, I play a checker behind, so sure. One less block. Or I guess same number of blocks. I think it's a few less shots, though. One, six, and five, two hit instead of all ones. So we'll see if he finds a cube here. He does not. I think there's a big swing there, and it's worth sending it. Uh, when I fan, I certainly can't take this. Um, he's going to play on too good, even. Okay. Not sure it's that good, but it could be. It could be. 4-1, he really wants to pick up that second blot. My board's just so not threatening. Reasonable. 8 away, 11 away. Okay, he's just going to get moving. He can win a gammon that way, too, if I just fan long enough. So reasonable to just give up on that part. I think now is the time to try to clear when I'm on the bar, so I don't like the 6-3. I think I'd just play uh, to the 10 at least, maybe all the way to the 7 to just make sure I get in and I'm bearing off next roll. Uh, but he wants to not leave any indirects while he's playing on, basically, which is an idea, too, for sure. Um, let's start a good point. He is not winning almost any gammons now that I'm in, so I think he should just claim. But uh, I don't think he has any shot levers either, so it's okay to just keep rolling in that case. Can't be bad anyway. Oops. What was that? That went fast. I'm going to waste a pip to make the board. Sure, I'm not worried about the gammon. I don't know. Make sure that he feels like he has to claim if he gets into any shot levy territory. 6-4 going to make the board. Cool. 5-1. Yeah, so he's going to have shots that he can leave. So probably supposed to claim next roll now. Um, I will stay for the contact and see. Yeah, why not? Now it should be like a 1 where I, I could run and he could keep playing, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Made him claim. <laughs> I don't know if that logical is there. 8 away, 10 away. Uh, okay, I think we got a blitz on this. When you can put him in the air, we got to make the deuce with it too, right? Could just make the anchor. I'm um, blitzing. I don't know. That was good confusing. Okay, not a bad entry for him. He can camp back on that ace for a while. I would like to split. Yeah, I've got the racing lead, so I need to get moving. Can't camp back on that ace point like he can. Fives? Oh, this is interesting. 
I could play one around, but I really want to make the three point, I think. So maybe I'll just, uh, what does that look like? Um, it's kind of deep, so maybe it's not so good. So maybe I should just play like this and hope that I can use these checkers to make the five point. Yeah, let's do that. Even though the eight point I don't need so much because it doesn't communicate uh, so well, it doesn't make a prime with the deuce point when it's made there. Um, okay, this is a pretty good entry. I enter high, I get to clean up lots. But uh, the fives blitzing was scary. 20 pip lead. I am in good shape here. I can lose my market when I hit. But he can turn it around really fast when I miss. So we'll just roll. Um, and I still have work to do even when he does miss. Okay, this is going to be worth a cube. I have a lot of ways to lose my market for sure. If I haven't already. I do have work to do. And he has a strong board, so I think he could think about it. But okay, 7 away, 10 away. Looking good. He splits. I miss. Well, what is this one? I think it's just the split. He's got good fours already all over the place. I make another one here. Sure. I don't know. I'm getting all those weird ones. Oh, he's going to go for the double hit here, too. Okay. Maybe just making an outfield point could be better. I don't know. Uh, this is pretty good for him. I need an ace. I think he's got the right idea there. I think you don't worry about that blot on the ace. If it gets recirculated, fine. You've got such a strong board now. Um, oh, what do I do with this? I could have the better anchor. I could hit. I could have the four points. If I hit, I must leave the least shots. And ugh, what is this? My anchor seems fine. I don't think I need to advance it. Is my game so different if he gets to make the 21 a few rolls from now? Maybe not. If he gets to make the 8, it is. Hmm. I don't... The 4 point seems like least compelling here. I need to improve my board so much that I still want to. Um, I can't really cover the 11 because I don't have another deuce with it. He doesn't have so much in the zone right now. Eight, eight and a half. So that's an argument for like splitting or something, I guess. I don't know. I think just hitting with all these blots around, not to let him like consolidate, feels like the thing. I don't know. The fly shots, of course, aren't aren't as harmful as other things. Okay, he makes that priming point. I'm a little bit sad about that, but okay, this has to be the four and the twenty-one, right? My other option is to cover the 7 and not leave a direct 6. <sighs> but it's so nice if I can cover it later. It's a nice slot. I have an a, a blot back here to hit when he does hit. So I think it's a nice time to play a little bit bold. Okay, let's do low numbers to make the 5. I like that. All right, now I feel like I'm like leading this game with an anchor. Um, 7 away, 10 away. So I might slow down in the cube a little bit. Uh, I don't think this is a money cube, though. It could be. It's still down in the race. We both have two back. I have the better board, though, and I have an anchor, and he doesn't. So this must be pretty threatening. Positionally, it looks good. Threats are good. The race is the thing I'm missing. Let's try to capitalize on that. Okay. I mean, there could be a market loss, quite a bit of it after this sequence. Less now. I think I want to hit the ace or the five or something before I, I claim. But he's got problems with the checker on the 24 here, for sure. But I have three back now as well. So what am I supposed to do about that? I need to get a better back checker moving, extend my prime, attack. Uh, this does nothing with the back checkers. I don't want to hit on the ace. He's right where I want him. So I think I just giving up the midpoint seems like the best I've got with it. I could keep contact with one, but I don't know. I like this a little better. One, six, two, six, two, five. I'll hop out and I still get a shot on those. Okay. The ace up to see the light seems very nice. Now I'm happy to hit with fives and fours. All right, five gonna hit. Uh, do I want to stack up with the three or just play it in? Fives are nice to escape with already. So maybe make a two to cover instead. This is very front loaded. This is out of range though. It's just nice to have the contact on like three, five, three, six. Maybe I'm overvaluing that. But that's my idea there. 
Okay, if the three comes in, which it wants to, then there's no ace, so he's going to enter di deeper and have a little priming pressure on him. Okay, five, three. Wow, point on head, cover and unblock the seven. That can't seem, that doesn't seem like, oh, I can cover from the ten. Wow, I'm like so close to missing so many of these plays. <laughs> this feels like it must be best. I would really like the mobility too. I'm under some pressure here. So is he. Uh, on a 6-4, what happens? He can hit and cover the ace. Maybe going for something like this makes the most sense. I don't know. Takes away the blitzing option. It makes me feel like I don't have a cube. I still don't feel like I have a cube the other way, too, though. I feel like I have to do something. I don't know. I think this buys him some time to roll a deuce. I kind of like the idea. I'm happy with my position, though, if he wants to double. Covering pretty strong. I need a 4-4 to hit, or... I might... Would I hit loose with a 4-3 or 4-5? I don't think so. Ooh, this is a big challenge to his, his game. He needs a deuce quickly. But a deuce is huge. Puts him in a uh, big lead, and if I fan here, I mean, he might even be... Just winning this game. Okay, 4-6 gives me a lot of containment options, and I still have a holding game. Uh, he's on the 6-6. Six, six, hits me. Okay. Um, we're both very strong here. I need to go for an attack. Take him off the edge of the, the prime here. So I think this is called for. Big swing on this roll. Aww. Now I'm leaving a direct 6-2. He's got huge threats here. I probably have to let this go if he wants to cube. He's going to wait. I'm going to get chances to roll a 4-1, 4-6. He's going to get stuck behind the prime. Now he's winning a lot of gammons. But with my anchor, hopefully I can still save it. I just need to roll a 4 quickly. Um, coming around seemed better there, too. Maybe it got on double 6s in a weird way that he wanted to prevent. But uh, having to play behind my anchor is a little bit destructive, too. So I would have been inclined to play the back checker. 4-1, still protecting his double sixes at all costs. Okay. I just need to enter and start moving. Fortunately, his structure looks a little awkward. Okay, that's going to help a lot. He's got a 6-2 that can lose it already, but I think uh, probably still has the right idea of playing on. That can always be confusing. 6-5, six, 6-4, five, six, four, five, four. Oh, he just clears? No, he's going to stay there. 6-1, one, 5-1, one, one. Okay. And I'm saving gammons with that play. 3-1, okay. Ace up I'll take, you know. 5-1. I think it's just going to enter. Oh, I could leave with it. Could have gotten two crossovers. Maybe that's better. Ooh, an ace for the game. No, I mean, I don't automatically win when I hit it. But I'm in, I'm in quite good shape. He can't claim this. I don't think. I might try. But, uh, so he's got eight off. Yeah, so we'll be like 50-50 if I can close him out. Maybe a little better with his stack there. So I got I got a ways to go. Um, I think I can afford to make the impure ace here because of the dillied builders and not letting him have a direct out, but uh, not usually the idea. 3-5, great shot for him. Okay. 4-6, uh, I'm containing well. Yeah. What do we got here? Six, and I think I want the four in range. Let's try like this. We get double shots when he hops out. I don't know. <laughs> and many numbers that hit and board here. Six, one. Okay. This is getting close to our closeout. And we still have a centered cube. Okay. Can get off that. Staying on high points is more important than avoiding shots. So I'm not so sure about that, but okay. And I need to get within, like, four checkers off to have an easy claim. Okay, we're happy we did it that way. Um, oh, I have two off. He has eight off. I'm within six. Getting there. Let's uh, even on the outside. Within five? I will consider sending this cube. But usually... Okay, I think I lose my market if I take something off of the five. He's a little weaker than usual. This feels very close to a cube for money. Do I care that it's seven away, ten away? Hmm. I don't know. I like sending early. Let's ship it. Always a chance will pass. 5-3. This was kind of the sequence I had in mind. When he fans, I think this is probably passable. I avoided market loss, for better words. <laughs> All right. Didn't get a checker closer with that one off there. But uh, 
Okay, there's my free miss. Oh, he feels like he's made a race out of this. Uh, if he enters with the two, he can take one off. I need to not miss any two. Okay, there we go. Decided. Five away. Things are looking good. This feels way less stressful so far than the last match. That was a wild one. We'll see. Maybe it's still coming. Gonna save my nerves for it. Five away, ten away. Okay, I think there's gonna be some adjustment on the cube there. Strong positional lead. I really need to split against this. Maybe he wants to get in a cube in time before he hits or something like that here, but I mean, I'm not feeling too afraid of it yet. Still feel like there's a lot of play in this position. Uh, that play, I have a ton of fly shots. A lot of times when you have priming structure, just splitting and making sure that you don't get primed yourself is kind of nice too. 3-3. Uh, three, three. I really want the 5 point here, I'm pretty sure. I can make the bar point. Should I consider doing that? I'm ahead in the race, so I don't want to play priming. So I think I want to step up and have a strong board for attacking. And then play down? Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I want all these blots all over. I feel like I'm going to be attacked a lot. Um, okay, six is going to change the game pretty dramatically. Hopefully, ooh, what am I going to do with a four? I think I want to hit, right? My other option is to enter and make the nine. I have a slightly better board way down in the race. I have blots all over. That's a problem. I got to go for it, though. I don't know how to... I don't know. Two, five. That can hit... Okay, I'm under some pressure here. The 3-1 can hit back, so let's do that. Just five blots now, okay, to his four, though. So, oh, and a fan. That's opportune. Five away, ten away. Is there any way I'm sending this volatile of a cube? Mm. If I hit any fans, I'm going to be too good for sure. Fives hit, fours hit. I mean, he could just enter, so maybe not. I don't think making a point so strong. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Oof. I have the racing lead. Checkers back lead. Better position. I've got everything here. I'm semi-primed at that one checker. And a huge swing on this next roll. Do I have any really bad rolls? Like double sixes, some sort of disaster? No, even those are pretty good. Fives are great. Fours are great. Threes must be great. Twos. Ones. Five, six, two, three, four, one, four. Can just hit loose all the time, too. Yeah, I think this is pretty strong. Maybe he can mix it up and get a recube in, which is quite scary. But, I mean, this is, like, a really threatening position. And if he wants to pass and let me get the four away, that's not too bad of a score to be at either. Three, one. I can just anchor up. That consolidates two blots. He has to give his anchor up to hit all these out here for the most part. Or I continue the blitz and, and hit loose here. Buy a little time to not get hit. That might be the idea. I feel like I'm on offense, and so I should put him off balance with one more hit. Let's try this. This feels more clear at other scores, but it's pretty scary here. Four enters. I can anchor. Or I can consolidate blots. Does he really want to leave the the anchor to hit out here, though? I don't feel like it, so I think I'm just going to do this. Let's invite him. Yeah, easy take. But it's reasonable, because it cancels all my gammons. This is kind of the problem with my cube, if we get into a back-and-forth sort of game. Um, okay, this is going to hit and make the 8. That's a pretty good shot. I think he was going to remake the anchor, too. I need to enter and start cleaning up, but a lot of wins in this game still. At least he can't win the match on this game either. That's kind of nice. I don't think. Okay, what is this? This can hop out for outfield control. It can hit loose to probably reduce shots. It can clean up a blot and just leave twos. Twos hit on the front up there as well. Uh, twos have to break the anchor. Yeah, maybe we just play quiet for roll. Try to have one less blot around. Coming to the outfield feels nice too, though. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Twos are a killer when you reduce down to there. Okay, an ace is pretty huge. I actually have a pretty well-timed back game here. Should I get into that? 
so I would gladly just take an ace here. Not the ideal game plan at this scoreline. A 3-in isn't so bad either, but I feel like, yeah, I mean, with this prime in front of me, I'm going to need the ace to win it, so we're going to sit on that. Um, I don't think I'm so dependent on the timing of this checker, but I, okay. I mean, he doesn't close it, so I'm happy about that. Oh, yeah, he actually has to open something already, too. Wow. That's wild. Um, yeah, I'm happy to run with just a 6. I guess I would hit with a 5 as well, would I? I don't... I'm not super ready. I need his prime to crack more. Yeah. So he can do this and not leave any shots? Okay. I think leaving a shot's not so bad. I'm not, like, that excited to hit it. Um, one, two... Uh, this is going here no matter what, I think. So I can cover and come out and leave a billion shots in board, but have a rack. Or I can come make the 10 billion shots. Uh, I can make the 16. Have an outfield point. How does that help? That's less blots, at least, but I have a weaker board. Feels like this must be it. Uh, let's look it over real quick, though. Feels like a crucial one. All three out and down, this must be, must reduce shots. And what is he going to play? He must have a lot of awkward numbers from here, actually. Okay. Only the three hits, and then there's going to be a bunch of other fives and fours and things that have to do weird. Okay. So what does it look like after I do this again? This is uh, three, six, five, four. All his fours, threes, and twos can hit loose and just go for an attack, which is a good game plan. Yeah, it feels like a tactical play opportunity to do this. And I'm still pretty alive even when I get hit here. Let's try this. 6-5. That's awkward for him. Uh, I think I have to hit, huh? Well, no, I don't. doesn't really reduce shots. It increases shots, so maybe I should just make the board. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what's the upside on a hit? One six and two five are a bummer. One three two two four. That's a ton of hits, but uh, can he really get stuck back there? I don't think so. And I think that I still get a shot next time. A lot of the times when he misses anyway. So let's try it like this. All right. Ooh, this is an interesting decision. We're down a lot in the race, so having the contact back here, it feels like it opens up a lot of attacking. My two's really bad though. So what other option do I have? This probably saves gammons. Man, it's a ton of numbers that are going to attack me deep, though. I hate that. Oh, tricky game. 6-5 just coming around. I don't think it's going to point behind. Um, I think I'm pretty happy to step up with the two. I don't think I can afford to stay back for the six contact. It must only be like 6-2, that leaves the shot automatically, and everything else is going to like point on ahead and lose a bunch of gammon. So, yeah, let's do the prudent thing. We can still get some contact here. All right, didn't turn out how we wanted, but uh, could be worse. I should be able to save this gammon. I wanted to just like win the match, though. It's more fun. Okay. That helps save a lot of gammons. What if I just won the race? I guess that's possible. I think I'm taking crossovers. All right. We'll be leaving soon. I could have left earlier, but yeah, okay. Like, no attacking risk now, so let's just make sure we get all the pips used appropriately. Ooh, four threes. Awkward. Sweet. I'm happy to get the stay for roll now. Uh, threes, okay. What do I want to do? I guess I can enter on the three. Sure. Uh, there are a ton of numbers like this, and I get a shot. Oh, I miss. Okay. We better go now. Five, and I don't think I need the crossover so desperately. I'll take all the pips. Should save the gammon. Five, four. Oof. It's a little close for comfort, though. Okay. He's going to win four points on this one. Ouch. Got in his recube well. So that'll put it at five away, six away. Okay. Two, 
two, six. I don't think I want to come out into the double shot in the outfield, the bar point. Reasonable, I get double hit a lot. So maybe we'll just play down with this one. All right, this gets to oop, hit and make the bar points. If we can figure out how to get the interface to do that, sweet. Misclicking around, my bad. Six, five, we get an anchor. But then our five is not good. We got to have that anchor, though. Why do I want to take him off the edge of the prime? I guess I could turn this into a blitz. Sure, let's take the tempo. <laughs> He's not, like, so primed there. Uh, five, five. I am ahead in the race now. Does that mean I need to get off this anchor? I make, like, an interesting holding game here. What is my play B? My play B is going to be to, like, make this. That, uh, seems like a lot back. Let's just do this. I don't know. I hate stranding that single checker back. But, ooh, a super strong board now. Very scary for my opponents. He gets to cover and leave a shot with the three. Yeah, I got some... Just fly shots with an ace and board, so not so bad for him. I think we take an attempt at running. It's a double shot, though. Hmm. And what else do I have? Maybe nothing. So let's get the double shot. That might break a point. Sure. Fours and twos. All right. Two, six, not so bad. I'm still doing okay in the race. But I am down now. Ooh, we hit back from the bar. That's a nice shot. 20 pip lead. Oh, he hits. Okay. That could have been enough to claim. From the bar, it's going to be a little harder, but my entering six is hit. If he, yeah, if he steps up, maybe he shouldn't step up for that reason. Don't know. He doesn't have a ton of aces to play. Um, oh, but he can interact with that blot on the eight point by playing 15 to 14 too. I think I like this play. This looks pretty strong. Um, one. Five is stuck there, so I'll just clean up. Yeah, I don't know why he wanted to give me a good six from the bar, though. I think he should have stayed back and played five to four. Only two pips ahead, outboarded. I don't see a cube here. He does have shots, so maybe it could have been reasonable. I fan. This is getting scarier, but I still have a pretty strong board and one checker behind it all. Do I need to take this? I've got ten in the zone. I can still anchor. Probably. Uh, probably too good now. This was quite the shot. I think he should make the ace just to make there be no threats of like counterplay. Um, only twos and threes are really going to do anything. I don't think there's any other way to consolidate the position. This uh, when he plays like this, now I have I feel like a few too many numbers that'll hit and get me right back in the game. So putting me on the roof seems strong. Entering with a two, I'm happy. I would love to anchor. Uh, if he cashes, sure, I will pass this. This is like too good territory, I think. I am down a thousand in the race. Yeah, we'll just let it go. Five way, five way. Simple. Played a five point match before. All right, it's getting more stressful. <laughs> this is not welcome. Four two makes another board point. Okay, small advantage for him, I think. This is pretty good. What do I do with this though? Do I continue an attack? If I come out, I don't have another six. I make the deuce, I leave a direct shot. Looks like blitz is the plan. Uh, two more down to hang on to the priming structure doesn't look too bad either. But let's just, I mean, I have 11 in the zone. Yeah, let's go for it. On a fan, I must have some challenging cubes for him to deal with. Always feels weird to turn sixes into a blitz on the ace, though. Any fans? Okay. Yeah, I got to send this. I've got the better board. I've got the race. He's got a lot of play. This is scary. He's going to play it. Ooh, I can just anchor. The, so the three stepping up no matter what. But I think i got to continue the blitz. I can't let him just have a holding game here. So let's try to win a gammon. Oh, what a shot. Okay. He's going to have the anchor anyway. I need to anchor myself pretty badly. Oh, this play is for sure. What is he? He's going to find something else. 1-4. Okay, this is a nice shot. Now we ended up in a pretty even game, even though I sent the cube already. So he's got a lot of power in holding that. I've got a third checker back. Not great. 
Will I hit with this five? Maybe. Reasonable to think about it for that reason. Okay, I can make a blocking point, or I can just try to create some mobility by advancing my anchor. We're dead even in the race. So how do I play if I play 13 to 9 twice next roll? I think I'm kind of out of time. So this feels like I have the most flexibility. Yeah, so let's do this. Can't be too bad. 4-2. It does give him the opportunity to maybe turn into an attack somewhere here. So he could try something like this, but I'm not too afraid of that attack. 5-4. I think it's just going to hop out. And, yeah, continue to play for mobility here. Even though the 4s get to hit in the outfield. 3 covers. Okay. Um, this worked. I feel like I've got a little bit easier time playing this position. Yeah, natural play seems to take the spare from the 13. You can give up the 8 later if you have to. Considers volunteering and goes for that. Okay. 6 3. Sixes are duplicated. So let's leave it there. Okay. I could advance up here. 5 3 would have been a nice hit with tempo. What's he going to do with this now? I already sent the cubes, so I have nothing to think about. I'm just trying to make blocking points. I also get to maybe cover this with an ace. That would be nice. Keep him from coming off it. Simple mutual holding game. Oh, yeah, this links up in block sixes. Beautiful. Uh, ten pips ahead in the race, too. Do I really want to make this now? That's not as clear. But, I mean, tactically it feels very nice here. I link up with the blot in the way. Otherwise, I have to spend at least one cleaning it up. Still have contact up here. Um, I guess I gave him some mobility releasing the midpoint like this, so possible it's not the best play, but it feels pretty strong. Uh, I think this has to be my six, and so the four can just come in with it. Sure, why not? Hope I don't get hit with fly shots. Not too many of them. Three, four, and five, two. Six, three is going to cover. Very nice. Could clear the eight point. No, nah, I think we want to clear an order. Two, four, five combos to clear from the rear. And at least I have an open six if I do get hit, so I have some chances, but the recube might be a little too much. Okay, I'm ahead enough in the race to just be clearing this. Seems to be going well. Maybe I'm going to get the three away. Maybe. feel nervous about everything now, though. Okay, three in, four down, makes bad double sixes. So should we do this? Okay. I don't know. It feels weird to do things like that, not play for distribution in the board, but... Maybe the tactics are more important for a roll. Uh, can't clear safely, so we'll go ahead and play them both from the back and keep sixes nice. A uh, couple pick and pass kind of rolls. 3-2 is just going to enter cleanly, though. Okay, that looks fun. Still about 20 pips ahead. Oh, he's going to eat into that lead quite a bit with that roll. Oh, is he still going to stay for contact? Maybe. I don't know. Either way, playing to the six looks kind of nice. Okay, there we go. Just had to bait him into running. Then I'm ready to throw some sixes. It's tough to win a gammon from here. <laughs> I still have a minute on the clock, too. I'm doing great. Definitely not going to have to rush at any point. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> That's when the matches are close. That must be why I'm like having to go through such a sweat with that lately. Blowouts, you have, you have some clock left. Whichever side of it you're on, less stressful that way. All right, three away, five away. A little bit of adjustment here. Not the most major adjustment score, though. Yeah, I believe he plays all offense here. I don't, I don't think this anchor is the right idea, but that's okay. Uh, I don't see a reason to leave the shot, and the five can come down or out. I am slightly ahead in the race. He doesn't have sixes otherwise. I guess I'll play down? I don't know. That's a little confusing. This feels a little front-loaded, though, so maybe I should have come out and challenged on, like, a 5-2 or something like that. Works out for me, though. I get an anchor. And I love my position in this game. When we're ahead in the match score, it's really nice to play mutual holding games where there aren't a lot of gammons, things like that. Um, and just hope for your, you know, hope for the best. Uh, he's got a better board, so I can, and I have the race, so I'm not going to volunteer. I'm just going to play behind. Maybe two behind from the eight makes some sense somehow, but just hoping for a set to escape. 
Um, let's play from the six here. Hmm. I don't know. They all must be close. I'm not going to waste too much time on that. Down to a minute. Those distribution behind plays can kind of trick me sometimes. I mean, they're not... If I have infinite time to think about it, I could usually come up with some good reason for one or the other. Um, okay, I'm going to play like this this time. I can't hit and cover, so yeah, okay. I don't know. I would like to make some board points, though, since most of the time this game's going to end with some sort of contact when we run out of time, and having a board will be valuable that way. So nice to fill in points and make a little bit of uh, effort to do that. I, I can't really volunteer against the four-point board and risk anything that way. But, yeah, I'm finding ways to improve here. We're both pretty much out of time now. 6-3, okay. My opportunity to attack. I don't see a cube coming here. I could make the five-point board or leave the fly shot. I think fly shot. I don't want to leave it direct. I think I'm going to lose almost all the time when I get hit with that. So this feels a little bit stronger. Uh, three or tens. Five, five, four, six in addition. And I'm going to try it even if I can't cover with my hit. Um, oh, I can lift, though. That's kind of nice. I think that's worth it. Um, I don't think the two-point is the key to winning this game. Okay, only five pips ahead. I have some work to do to escape. I don't feel like this is cash territory yet. Um, I could come around and link up with one and leave some shots from the bar or make another point. Five, three, and five, five are disasters. Other fives, five, six is not great either. Um, so this is a little front-loaded. Maybe this is not right. Uh, what is it here? This is uh, five, three, and five, six. I get a bunch back. Two, three, two, six. Yeah, let's just go for this. I think we just go for the race. And when I get away from this, I have 15 pips in the race. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Oop. How am I doing on clock again? Just splitting as normal here. Yeah, 41 seconds. Okay. Got to keep making plays. Two away, five away. Hard to find cubes at this score. Uh, let's just hop out and make a point. Sure. Makes a bit out of simple game. I would love to make like the 16 point if I got so lucky. Uh, this just links up and escapes. Good enough. 6-2 escapes for him too, and I'm down 7 in the race though. Okay, so I need to do something to contain a little bit here. Not under as much pressure to escape my checker as he is. So maybe 3-5 should run for him. Uh, steps up at least. Okay, that seems reasonable too. I get to attack. I'm very happy. I need to go for tempo hits a lot of the time against this structure. Um, he's so likely to make a 4 prime that I think it's going to be worth it to... I don't think this is the kind of role where I can do that. Uh, step up with a 2... So I can see the light, and then do I mind fly shots? Not so much. Yeah, okay. This is getting scary, though. Three six doesn't hit anything. Oh, wow. Three six is like a real whiff. Where did he find this? I have some sevens to hit in the outfield. Six five just runs. Okay. I could point on ahead as well. Um, how much does this leave? This only leaves uh, four three, four four, two five, two six, one six. Quite a few. But when I get away with it, it's very happy. Uh, two fives, one of them. I get a ton of returns on this as well, though. So uh, that was an unexpected return. Things are looking good here. I can win Gammon, so I can't send this. Uh, five, four down, sure. Yeah, what if we closed it out here? I think we're still going for it. Four, two. What? Ew. Okay. I'm going to do something like this. 6-5 gets there? Okay. 6-3, bit of a whiff for him again. Very nice. I just want to make the 5 point. How do I do that? Let's find some way to do that. 5-1 does not do that. It uh, makes a blocking point in the 8. That's kind of nice. Sure. 4-5 could run one. Still ahead, 20 in the race. Still threatening to close out. I think this needs to be a little more decided for me to cash still. So I'm still basically playing on. Ooh, how best to blitz here? I'm going to make the 2, and then I can make the 5, or I can make the ace. The 5 leaves a 3-6 with 2 blots and board. Yeah, this seems stronger. Let's try this out. 
All right. Blitz is on for sure now. Now we're going for big things. Six, four, three, one. Hit on the front. Uh, fours. Ooh, beautiful. Take him off both of his anchors. This could be it. Uh, six, four, one. Six, one closes. Very nice. All right. Getting some good dice when I need them here. Right in the end. Uh, three, two. What do I do with this? Uh, I have a little time to think about it. I think... We'll try that. Most likely going to play two checkers from my six point next roll. All right. Still winning a lot of gammons here. Uh, I don't think I need to peel for gammons, do I? Maybe. Six one and five one is all I risk. Oh, and it's getting kind of close. And it's hard to lose when I get hit. I need to save some time for the game after this, too. If there is one. I don't know. Let's go for it. <laughs> All right. 12 seconds left. Oh, that's stressful. Oh, not stressful anymore. <laughs> I don't think. Is this savable? Oh, this would be depressing if I didn't win on this game. Okay, we'll just roll sets all the way through. Nice dice. Those are like tournament winning dice right there. Sixes, fives, and threes. Pleasure. All right. Well, we have to not time out. And another set of twos just to do it. How did we do it? 6.25? Okay. I can't wait to see what the mistakes were on that as I go through the transcription on this one. Um, it's like a six in my last two matches. That's a little bit high for me. Um, I don't feel like I'm playing my sharpest necessarily. Maybe I found some match situations. I think last time I just had something like that where I made a, a very large, like, I don't know, oversight somewhere. It didn't seem like uh, the worst thing, but but I don't know. I'm excited to see. I can't, thinking back, where do I think I really lost that? I could have sent early cubes at, at some leading match scores where I got that four cube back, for example. Um, maybe some hits in some games, kind of late game decisions, seems big swings, but whatever. Thanks for following me on this. We got another video. All right. I'm still alive. So excited for that. This has been a ton of fun. Round 19 coming up soon. Uh, if you haven't gotten my book already and are interested in it, go check that out on Amazon or catch me at a live tournament. I'll be in Florida next week, starting uh, October 5th, I think that is. Um, so if you go to the sunny Florida tournament, I'll have books there that you can purchase. Uh, people should have them at many of the tournaments coming up in the U.S. too, in like St. Louis and such. I'm going to make a stop over in Minnesota and all the other clubs close to me, I hope, soon. And uh, what else am I going to do? I, I mean, it looks like the donations are there to get to Cyprus, so I'm planning on that and planning on having books there. Somehow I've been talking to people there about how I can ship them or bring them in luggage. I'm not, I don't know what I'll need to do. But, of course, if you get them in person, you get them signed if you're into that, too. That's all coming. So uh, that's all the big stuff for me, I think. Uh, check out my videos that have been posted on Mate's channel, too. Backgammon News is where you search that on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, can't wait to chat with y'all in the comments. Hope, uh, hope this one is as exciting as the last two. Bye now.